How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the Islamic extremist compound found in New Mexico. This had been watched by the FBI for quite a while because when you see this, I mean, just take a look at it on the screen before you. This is obviously going to raise some red flags. What is this thing doing here? What is happening on the inside? I guess they had taken too long to make any kind of action. Local people were kind of getting fed up. So the local authorities decided to go ahead and raid it. And what they found inside was extremely disturbing. Before I get into all the details, what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and roll the clip. In the clip, you'll see more of what's happening. You'll understand the context. You'll understand why this particular place was keyed in on. Aside from the obvious, after we get done with the clip, I'll give you some more information and my personal opinion about this particular compound and also Islamic extremism in general in the U.S. of A. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. That is a mugshot of Siraj Wahaj. He is the son of that famous Brooklyn imam named as a possible co-conspirator to the 93 World Trade Center bombing. As it turns out, according to the authorities, he was training children as old as 15 years old to become school shooters at that compound in New Mexico. Starving others in that compound. And it was out there, it was basically off the grid. But there are reports, uh, the FBI was watching it. And the local authorities were so sick of the FBI not doing anything, they took the huge physical risk of storming the compound. Look at how exposed you are in the middle of nowhere. Think if you're a law enforcement, uh, think if you're a police officer. You just got to go take down what is a mini fort. It just looks filthy. And that's what that's what the authorities said. They went in and they took the 11 children that were there. And this all kind of unfolded because the mom in Atlanta reports to authorities that the dad comes to pick up the son, take him to the park, allegedly, and he never brought the child back. That's right. They found they did find the remains of a child. They have not yet told us whether or not they're connected to that child that was missing from Atlanta. Right. Just the fact that he was he had a terror camp right there in the middle of the United the States, middle of the America, United States. in right. New Mexico. All right. So you able to see that you see what's going on now. This is really scary. This is really crazy. First things first, let's talk about this guy, Siraj Wahaj. I guess he is the ringleader. He may have been the person that actually organized everything because in the news reports I've read, they've shown his face. They've listed him as being like the central focus of the whole situation. And I think that's for a couple of reasons. The first reason is because he is obviously the son of also named Siraj Wahaj, the radical Islamic imam in New York City who had been tied allegedly to the World Trade Center bombings in 93. Even if he wasn't necessarily directly in the place setting the bomb up, he had supported the person who bombed the building, congratulated them, this, that, and the third. So a person with that kind of mindset obviously is going to have the impact on their children. And here we are. This guy has an Islamic compound with not just himself, with not just his friend, but also with his sisters and possibly a wife of his. I'm not really sure who that other woman was. I know that the male accomplice was married to one of the sisters, one of Siraj Baha's sisters. Now, not only did they have themselves in there as adults, they had 11 children. I've read somewhere that the youngest may have been one year old. You're talking about a baby on up to about 15 years old. And they were living in squalid conditions uh, filthy, disgusting, no food, water, had rags as clothing. And at least one of the kids was in there being trained on how to be a school shooter. So you're talking about a true Islamic extremist training ground. He's training this boy to go out here and be a school shooter. It sounds just like the DC sniper, the same type of situation. You know, he was training the boy to be a shooter and he was able to successfully go out and kill a, at least a dozen people or more in the DC metro area. A real shame, but let's get back to the story. The reason why Siraj Wahaj may have been the point of interest, aside from his father and aside from the fact that he probably was the ringleader, is the fact that he allegedly kidnapped his son from Georgia, right, in the Atlanta area. The mother of the child said that the son had been missing for like eight months and... He had epilepsy and was severely just disabled. He couldn't walk. He had a hard time just getting around without constant medical attention. 
The mother said that Siraj came and took the boy to the park allegedly and didn't return. And he has not been recovered in the 11 kids that were found at the compound. However, there was remains of a small child found. And that's probably going to be the boy, unfortunately. But they have not confirmed that as far as the coroner's office. That could be another child. And that brings me to another question. Who are these other kids that were there? I suppose they are the children of the women that live there. And that's kind of evidenced by some of the charges that I've read. They said that the women had uh, brought children across state lines and stuff like that. So that's probably their children. And it's probably the kids that uh, one of the other men had with one of the women. It's really kind of weird and confusing as far as who these kids are. There could be some abductees because obviously the main guy, Raj Wahaj, is not beyond abduction. But this is really crazy. I mean, now I always say, hashtag not all Muslims are going to be terrorists, but come on. Man, we see things like this all the time. It happens over and over and over and over again. At a certain point, you need to just get down to the common denominator, and that is Islam, right? I'm not really sure how to stop it. I mean, can it be a reformation? Can it be some changes made in the religion? I'm not really sure what you can do. I really don't get it. You're living in the West. This is a prosperous place in which we live. But yet you have some people that still want to be antisocial. They still want to go against the grain of popular thought of society in general. I don't really know what people want. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that these kids were discovered because they were starving. You're talking about they look emaciated like they were refugees because there's no food, no water. They're out in this compound doing what? Exactly. I'm not really sure, aside from being trained on how to be a terrorist. This is really crazy. But you know what? I can almost assure you that this is not the only place like this in the USA. There are probably some more that have not been discovered. This particular place in New Mexico was wide out in the open. There was no trees or hills or anything like that concealing it. The only thing I had around it was a bunch of old tires, I guess, to prevent straight on gunshots from coming in. But there are other places like in little caves and hollows in the mountain and hills and, you know, back woods and places that you really wouldn't think about that are totally off the grid and hard to find. Also, south of the border, you're finding Islamic prayer mats and stuff like that. So what's really going on? There have been some people that came from Syria that came into the country illegally through the southern border. A lot of that's going on. Maybe they were out there in New Mexico because they were doing some stuff south of the border illegally going back and forth. I don't really know. But, hey, anything is possible. At this point in time, I'm not surprised anymore. But what do you think? Do you think that this guy, Siraj Wahaj, was just his father's son carrying out more Islamic extremism, terrorism in the USA? How about these women? What's going on with them? Were they brainwashed? By their father, because at least two of them are Siraj Wahai's sisters. So is it brainwashing from the father? Are these kids theirs? Do you think that the boy that was discovered deceased is the actual child that had been missing? I mean, the evidence points to it likely being the case because they found 11 kids and none of the 11 kids they found were the little boy that had been missing. And unfortunately, like I said, this is probably not the only place like this. Hopefully, we can get a crackdown on it and figure out what's going on. But that's a really unfortunate story. I'm glad for the kids that were discovered. Hopefully, they're able to get themselves back on track and they're not too far gone because they had most likely been without medical care or anything like that for an extended period of time. Who knows how long they were out there? It could have been months. It could have been years. I mean, the boy that was missing was gone for eight months. So how long had they been out there? Who knows? But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.